Welcome back to my channel, family. I am going to talk about Japan and my experience in Japan. I'm currently sitting in my closet. Um, I'm just trying to try new spaces that don't echo as much because we don't have any furniture in this new house. So please keep watching if you want to hear about my Japan experience because it's freaking awesome. It was amazing. I loved every second of it. I love the culture, I love the language, I love the food, I love the people, I love the snow, I love the shops, I, everything's so cheap, food was so cheap. It was amazing. It was amazing! The first day we stayed in a more traditional style hotel um, where we like folded out our mats that they gave us on the ground and we had like little slippers and those little roby things. The table was like this far off the ground and you like sat there crisscross applesauce and had your food but neither my brother nor I could actually fit our legs under that table so I can't like you'd have to be very small to fit on one of those tables anyways. I don't even know what to say about these. We're sleeping on mattresses on the floor we're getting futons. the futons and we're getting the full Japanese experience with a with a mini bathroom. And a bidet that squirts water up your back. <laughs> it was still super fun to experience the traditional living style culture, anywho. But I don't think I love to sleep on a mat all the time. So the second night we actually went over to the Hilton. And that was a little bit more my style with a bed. The first day we, we just got our rental gear. And we went to a couple different restaurants and food places. My brother took me to, he actually lives in Okinawa. I love that I got to experience Japan with somebody who knows how to live in Japan. I think if I was just over there by myself, it would be quite difficult because we'd also be struggling to communicate everywhere we go. We went to a teppanyaki restaurant which was out of somebody's house and it was just absolutely beautiful because they put their heart and soul into these restaurants and the, the food they give you can tell that they really care about it. Teppanyaki was where they give you the meat and the vegetables and you have to fry it yourself on that little table. Again, we got to sit down at this tiny table on the ground on these mats and you kind of you take your shoes off, step up onto this platform and sit down at the table. It's all very cute. And it's like sectioned off in your own little booth. They hate us because they ain't us. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> Eat that one. It's hot. A little dip dip. A little dip dip. You got a blow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay? Tastes like meat. Yeah? Tastes like meat. <laughs> Surprise. Obviously, because we're very large humans, we were hungry still. So we went to another. Uh, barbecue place. This was also a family run business. This guy was a kage. Uh, I'm gonna butcher this, but he was one of those dudes that cuts. <laughs> dudes. He's one of those chefs that prepare blowfish, puffer fish, the kind that's on the Simpsons and it kills you when you eat it. Yeah, here's me very concerned that we're gonna die. Poisonous stuff is already gone. Where's the poisonous stuff? In the guts that he threw away. But those guts were like just there on that counter. Like no. they're the deal is like you don't break the the guts. The guts. Cause see, there's a piece over there on the side. <sighs> if we die. <laughs> Have you had it? Have you had it? What? Oh no! The <laughs> young! Oh, is she? Yeah. See? The young! What? It's me! Which? Very good. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> you go. Again, <laughs> dip it or just eat it? I'll eat it first. I 
I'm terrified. I'm I'm absolutely terrified right now. Oh, don't be. I'm gonna die at least five minutes ago before you. <laughs> Pretty good. It's an interesting taste. I'm scared. Tastes great. Oishi. But Oishi. I'm scared. <laughs> I feel like you're making it up. No. No. My tongue's being big. <laughs> Chicken and meat. It's not the guy. I'm just uh, breathing. <laughs> I've always wanted to try natto. Ooh, the yellow stuff. I don't know. I think I like blow fish more than I like motto. <laughs> So we tried the puffer fish, uh, it was oishi, but it was also fish, so the reason people eat it is more for the excitement of almost dying rather than the actual taste of the fish. So that's something, it's something we'll remember for the rest of our lives, but it's also like, I almost died. Okay, at all of the hotels in Japan, especially this one at the Hilton, they have onsen spas. The Hilton has... A natural hot spring off of this volcano which is beautiful and I really wanted to try this onsen spa in a bathing suit I wanted to try it in a <coughs> I wanted to try it in a bathing suit <laughs> and every onsen spa in Japan the culture is you have to be naked you wear all the little robes and then you just free ball it into the onsen just came back from the spa how was it? It was wonderful. Did you hang out with your wing out? I did. <laughs> Good thing I was the biggest wing in there. <laughs> I Look, I'm all for female empowerment and, you know, confidence in your body and stuff, but I also like confidence in my body in closed spaces. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So I couldn't experience any onsen spas and clothes. I was like, just do it. Quit being a weenie. I couldn't do it. So, you tell me. Like, would would you do it? Would you go get naked in these onsen spas if it's never been in your culture to do it? I mean, I want to be respectful of their culture and I want to experience their culture, but I just don't want to get naked in front of other people. I mean, is that just me? That's not just me, right? The Also, the first or second night at the Hilton, I can't remember which, we went to the gym at like 11 o'clock at night, which was not a great idea because both of us were really tired. But I also just wanted to walk and get like sweaty in a warm-ish environment after being freezing cold all day. And like just do some mobility because my back was so tight after the plane and everything. But that was a lot of fun because I tried to teach Colton some stuff and he he really enjoyed it, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> what does it feel like? <laughs> oh, not fun! <laughs> Those are literally the softest foam rollers you can buy. <laughs> oh. 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 Colton, did you enjoy it? I, I sure did. <laughs> Every morning at the Hilton there's buffet style breakfast. So I just want to insert a little health promotion here. While I was on vacation, in the mornings for breakfast, I would try to eat a super high protein breakfast and just fill up on, because it was buffet style. And they had like some cold chicken out there and I just piled that onto my plate and scrambled eggs and an omelet and, and I got some boiled eggs and just had the egg whites. Like, just, I just did what I could. Um, that way the, the rest of the day I could snack on all the little bits and pieces that I really wanted to try. They have the most amazing bread in Japan. They have these like packaged sweet things. There's like this pancake 
with maple syrup inside the pancake when you bite into it and they're like I just can't even describe to you the kind of bread they have in Japan it is like like donuts everywhere but like they're not marketed as donuts maybe they are and I don't understand it but they were delicious and I would have a little bit of everything so I wanted to I would to buy everything have a bite and throw it away like I'm not gonna just fill it fill up on one thing when I want to have so many things and to throw it away it's okay it is wasteful but you still have to experience everything and you don't want to just be eating for the sake of eating to not be wasteful it's also your body and you want it to be feeding it fairly healthily and not just blowing yourself up with carbs so I guess while we're on the topic of everything in moderation I would also have you know, like a fancy drink every day I want to try everything but again not blow it out because I didn't want to get like drunk I didn't want to feel dehydrated I didn't want it to affect my snowboarding so I did everything in moderation on vacation if you can just make it a point to not feel full, you'll be fine and you won't gain heaps of weight while you're enjoying yourself. Just avoid stuffing yourself. Have a little bit of everything, just don't stuff yourself and you'll be fine. So now I'll put in a little clip of our snowboarding, a little, a little montage, see how I go with editing. Wish me luck! That's everything fam. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting a little bit of experience of Japan with me. I cannot wait to go back. I'm going to push for us to go snowboarding Hakuba 2020, but it's whether or not we can afford it. So uh, that's in the works and I will see y'all soon.